What's up guys, Bun here from Bun Plus Ultra and today we are going to be doing a reading of Azure Waters as requested by you guys. Now, I can already tell that this is going to be dangerous as just telling by the latest comment under maintenance down here, you guys, and looking at some of these thumbnails here, uh, you guys really wanted me to live stream this? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to see just judging from these thumbnails. So, uh, let's get into it. I'm making a video out of it so at least I can edit around some of these parts. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to try to overlay some music on it and things like that. Try to make it enjoyable. This will be the first manga reading I've done on the channel. If you guys like this, let me know. And if you guys would like to see me react to any sort of anime in the future, also let me know that. I've been thinking about reacting to maybe Evangelion or something like that, but not exactly sure. I know you guys want to see the cooking with Valk's anime. We'll get to that eventually as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so Azure Waters, this is going to be the story of Seal and Branya. Seale and Branya, I should say. She is the silver wolf of the Urals, an emotionless and lethal fighting machine. Every saga must begin somewhere. This is her story. Russia, January 2012. A sniper does not move. A sniper waits patiently for her prey. A sniper shall remain hidden. Her prey shall never learn who her killer is. She eating snow? Interesting, okay. I didn't know Branya was a sniper first, but she's like a trained killer, huh? A sniper must know her prey. A sniper must use the prey's weakness. A sniper must be merciless. A sniper's aim must be true. A sniper shall only feel the recoil of her rifle. Kakolia knows she ain't gonna shoot her. A sniper must be fast, but you're a little slow, girl, and I knew exactly where you are. Die, you evil witch. A sniper will do anything to kill her prey. You have spirit. I like that. But I need you to stay down for a while. Oh, that was easy. Oh, dang, what was Sile trying to do there? Oh, okay, okay, she's wiping her forehead. What's your name, little sniper? Release her if you know what's good for you. Branya. Well, there's some bad news for you, Branya. I've neutralized the squad your people sent to assassinate me. Why take me alive as your prisoner? Why won't you just kill me? This may surprise you. I do not kill kids. Oh, Kogolio, so you're not completely horribly evil? Except what do you do with the kids? Slave, what nonsense is that? I'll need to meet the people who trained you to shoot me. They must be taught a lesson. You are no longer a slave, Branya. From now on, I'll be your Matushka. Matushka is the formal word of mother in Russian. Matushka, what does that mean? It's someone who cares and loves the children. This blue-haired girl is named Sile. I've left food on the table for you. Sile will show you to your room. Have no fear, Branya. You'll no longer be sent to the battlefields. The second Honkai eruption in 2000 destroyed Siberia and much of the Russian Far East. Ruthless warlords took advantage of the chaos and started a civil war, forcing countless refugees and orphans into their private armies. To rescue the children, ex spetsnaz Captain Kokolia allied herself with a mysterious organization known as Anti-Entropy and founded Kokolia's Orphanage. Interesting. So yeah, in Second Eruption, she actually escapes um, after being in prison, right? Like, she's in prison in Russia, so I guess it's because she was a... Oh, no, she was a Spetsnaz, but she did something to, like, sell them out. You guys know what happened? 2013, August, Kokolia Orphanage. Sile, use the powers of imagination and focus your mind. Sense it, feel it, and control it. The f making a scythe? Oh, she's making a weapon. I'm, I'm sorry, Matushka. Don't be. This is just a little test. Next. You are so stupid, Sile. Watch this. Whoa, she made like a straight clock thing. What the hell is that? A wristwatch. Whoa. Sin turned the liquid metal into a wristwatch. Ha. This is super easy for someone from the Mao family. That's so cool, Sin. Please teach me how to do that. Matushka, please let Branya try next. Branya gonna destroy this fool. Alright, she's trying. Look, it's a homu. Yeah, it's so cute. I knew it. You're the best, Branya. Oh, Cecilia just likes her right after she makes a homu. Okay. Not bad. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. This guy's scary. Hey, Branya. What is it, Sin? Branya. You. You like the stupid little idiot Sile, right? Da, Branya will always be with Sile. How disgusting. Oh shit, this is actually dark as hell. If you've nothing else to say, I'll be going back to my room. And she pushes her down the steps. Oh my god, is this how she loses control of her legs? Yeah, I will not let you like her. Oh my god, she does. She stomps her fucking legs. This person is evil. Alright, they're gonna die. They're dead. Stop. You cannot like her. Oh my god, she... How is Branya not screaming? I guess she's passed out on the floor. This is f***ed up. Look at that evil smile right there. And Sile's over here listening to this. The deep anti-entropy labs, X-10 trials briefing. These children displayed the best Honkai resistance in the recruitment test. Any sign of mental corruption after delivery of the Honkai serum? None of them displayed any hint of corruption. Good. Initiate the next phase. Remember, 
We are doing this for anti-entropy. We are doing this for humanity. I, I'm doing this to ensure that my children can survive a world devastated by the Honkai. Why is there an X over Sile? Because she couldn't make the weapon appear? And why did you fall off the stairs? I slipped, Matushka. You're hiding something, Silver Wolf of the Urals. Oh, she tightens it. Huh. You didn't just slip, you were attacked, pushed, and for some reason you didn't break the attacker's neck. I haven't found any dead bodies. So Branya could have killed him. But Branya was chill. I really did slip down the stairs, Matushka. Fine, I'll leave you to your secrets. Try to look after yourself. The trial is fast approaching. I don't want your wounds to affect this test. Spasibo, Matushka. And don't forget to talk to Sile. The trial might take a while. Da, Matushka. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I was so scared. I didn't know why Sin did that. Please. I don't know. I really don't. Dang, where did she come from? She was in this box? Oh my god. Wait, why was Sile in this box? This is kind of scary shit. What the f***? She's in this box? Ew, what the hell? She's licking her tears? What the f*** is this? Oh, that was kind of scary to me, guys. It's alright, Sile. I'm so sorry, Branya. I saw what Sim was doing to you, but I was too scared to move. It's alright, Sile. I like you better this way. Like, what way? I don't feel pain as long as you're here with me, but Branya, it's my fault that Sin got mad at you. None of that was your fault, Sile. Branya, help. Sile has gone missing. Early 2012, shortly after Branya's enrollment in Kokolia's orphanage. Oh no, oh shit. This is the darkest manga. What the hell? I have not read something like this. Some warehouse near Lake Baikal. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Three million dollars for this? You know girls like her selling themselves for five dollars an hour in this blasted country. Thank God for the Honkai eruption, I guess. Damn. These people are pieces of shit everywhere you look. Hm, it did end the Cold War, but I still don't see anything special in her. Ha, people like you will never appreciate her true value. I combed through Estonia just to find this one. Never expected her to end up here, so close to the eruption epicenter. Just look at this smooth silky skin. Her scent alone is making me super excited. Alright, so they're gonna kill this guy, right? Alright, perv, we need to cut the crap and get out of here. She was captured only because Kakolia left her orphanage unguarded, but that demon is will return soon. I want Kakolia to return and destroy this guy. Oh, I heard that Kakolia has no one else but little kids in her coop. Our distraction will keep her occupied for a while. If those kids decide to swing by and rescue their pretty friend, we'll show them some good loving, right? Damn, what the f***? This is disgusting. They told me these lands were once beautiful. Honkai destroyed it all. Outside the warehouse, Honkai robbed innocence from the children. It taught them not to cry. Oh shit, what the hell? Brian's gonna destroy these mofa. It taught them about survival of the cruelest before I held my first fork. An automat Kalashnikova was shoved into my hands. I found out that I'm really good with it. What is that? Is that like a cannon? This is getting dark. Sile, hey girl, get the hell out of this place. I only say that once. A pathetic scum. Aren't you a little too young to do this thing? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm on watch duty right now. Head over to the shed. Wait for me. An insult to true soldiers. <laughs> we even happened to this dude. Just snapped his neck. <laughs> that wasn't even a battle. I don't know where or how they raised these inept swine. A true soldier from this land would have shot me on sight. I find it hard to believe that idiots like these trick Matushka. Heard about the Silver Wolf of the Urals? Now that's someone who can probably best the demoness Kokolia. The wolf is a war orphan who survived the Honkai eruption of 2000. They forced her into the army at a young age. She has a pretty good track record. 13 high-ranking officers and warlords from Siberia to the Caucasus. They didn't even know what hit them. Really? How did she do that? There's wolves howling in the background. Rumors say she dressed up as a pretty whore and strangled her victims with silk stockings. What the hell? This is insanity. I'm not gonna lie. This is... They can't put this type of shit in the game, can they? Because they wouldn't allow it on the app store. Ha, silk stockings, don't make me laugh. That's got to be an urban legend. All right, go tell the hired goons to be vigilant. We'll be out of this place by 0600. What is it? We're having a meeting here. It's me. The lads found some vodka. Oh, shit. These mercenaries continue to amaze me. Please let me go. With their lack of confidence and courage. Crack. Dasvidaniya. I hope you enjoyed your stay in Siberia. What the Vodka, she opens the shit. Oh, shit. Too slow, and they didn't even use a password. I would have emptied half a mag through the door. Branya is a complete savage. What the f- An unarmed sieve? Too bad Matushka didn't ask for prisoners. Oh, she's gonna kill him with his own necktie. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, she did- She did the Agent 47 thing. 
<laughs> rule one in Siberia, you don't mess with the bra on you. Rule number two in Siberia, neckties are super stupid. <sighs> silk, silk stockings. Sorry, I can't understand a word you said. Tap, tap. Damn. Oh, Sile's all scared of her now. See, look, walking towards her. Tap, tap. Sile? D Damon! Yeah, get away from me. What the hell? So that's. What? Don't get any closer. Go away. Oh, shit. That looks like Sile, though. Don't be afraid, Sile. I made you a promise on that day. I won't hurt anyone for your sake. 2013 August, Kakolia Orphanage. I can't sleep. I never thought that Branya remembered the time when I called her a demon. She promised that she will never hurt anyone for my sake. But dear Branya never knew that when you saw her killing and spilling the enemy's blood on herself, you felt a rush of ecstasy. Oh shit, what? Sile's like a serial killer or something? What is this? That was the very moment when you first became aware of me, my host. Yeah, no! You are that demon, Sile. You thirst for my presence. Oh shit, whoa. Is this the Honkai inside of her? What is this? Branya said she'll visit the beach with you next week, and you really wanted to see the azure waters with her, but that Sin Mao broke her leg. Don't you want to seek revenge? If you do nothing, Sin will continue to hurt Branya. Do you want Sin to keep hurting your friend? That's right, I must protect Branya. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, just this once, Sile, you can kill Sin Mao. Look, she's so pissed. What does this say right here? Approved of Experiment X10. Experiment may be life-threatening, and it's them too. Damn it, I'm feeling scared. I can't look bad in front of Branya. Sin Mao. It's the crybaby. Get lost, Sile. I'm not very happy today. Yet, I won't run away this time again. I saw you pushing Branya down the stairs. I'm warning you, Sin. I'll tell Matushka what you did if you hurt Branya again. Two orphans who never met their parents cozying up to each other? You disgust me. The sight of you makes me sick, Sile. You're a useless crybaby and you're always asking Branya for help. But it turned out that you're pretty good looking up close. I'll make you my toy before I go to hell. Oh damn, see this is the, the shit where uh, I was a little worried about the thumbnails here. What the hell is this birthmark? The red color looks so unnatural, like a witch's brand. Uh oh. It's like a demonic curse. No wonder your parents threw you away. Please don't do this in. All right, kill him. All right, it's time to kill him. I can't watch this any longer. You can't protect Branya by crying. I guess I have no choice but to help you out a little. Watch and learn, my host. I shall demonstrate what true power means. Okay, I am always a fan of some justice like this after some bullshit like Sin Mao. You know he's a disgusting little bastard, so I think it's time to send him to hell. Oh, all these things. What the hell? Ooh, this is bad. Oh, okay. Grab. Sin, you're pretty cute up close as well. But I don't like it when you call me a crybaby. You, you're not Seal? Who are you? What are you, a demon? You're so rude. I'll have to teach you some lessons. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Did that hurt? I simply can't resist the sound of you screaming in pain. I think I'll keep this, Sin. Oh, he ripped out. She ripped out his tooth. Playing with Sin was fun and all, but I shouldn't forget that I'm here to punish this little creep for Branya. Come to think of it, grab. Oh my god, this is about to get dark as shit. Let's do the revenge staircase super ride, Sin. Let's go. <laughs> Time for us to have some fun. Oh my god, this is... What the f... What is this place? Sile, where are you? What are you trying to do? This is the revenge staircase super ride. Revenge for pushing Branya down the stairs. Oh shit. This is like straight out of Smash Bros. Push. Oh shit. Down the stairs. Oh, they're hanging on. Oh, dear. Please help. I don't want to die. Tap. 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 Please, Sile, don't kill me. What are you trying to do? Save me. My fingers. You were so tough when bullying other people, but you disappoint me, Sin. You couldn't even last a round. Hmm? Sin was reading this when I saw her. What? Kokolia's office. Matushka. Sile? The hour is late. You should be asleep now. Matushka, please tell me the truth about the X-10 experiment. Oh, did Branya tell you about this? It's supposed to be a secret. No matter, you have a right to know what's going on. Honkai corrupts normal people. Children like you, however, have innate Honkai resistance, allowing you to resist the corruption and even control the Honkai. But Honkai resistance can only go so far. Corruption will set in sooner or later. The X-10's experiment aims to achieve 100% Honkai adaptability. If we succeed, you'll become a new breed of the human race capable of surviving the Honkai. But what happens if the X-10 experiment fails? Will Branya die? See, like, 
Branya has very high Honkai resistance. Even if the experiment fails, we can still learn more about the Honkai. Please understand, Branya knows this. She's taking the test so that more of us can survive in this world. I understand, Matushka, but... I know there's someone better suited for X-10. Warning, Honkai level critical. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. Can this be? A true stigma? I thought it was only a myth. This must be why she can control and hide such high levels of Honkai within her. Matushka, please let Sile take Branya's place in the X-10 experiment. Oh shit, this must be how she gets to the Sea of Quanta. Sile! Where did you go? Sile, where are you? Why is the letter informing us of the experiment here? Listen closely, Branya. If the X-10 test succeeds, you will be able to manipulate matter at the subatomic level, but we've already lost seven candidates in previous attempts. Branya is willing to take the X-10 test. Don't be too hasty, Branya. The risk is real. You should be afraid. But if we can get useful data out of this experiment, Sile would have an easier time when she takes the test. Branya, I'm really excited for the beach tour next week, but I don't know how to swim, do you? Da, Branya was in special forces. I held my breath for 4 minutes and 35 seconds in covert underwater sabotage training. That sounds great. Can you teach me how? Da, <laughs> yes, I'll teach. Yeah, okay. Matushka, Sile has gone missing. <gasps> the office is empty. Matushka, what is this place? The Sea of Okotsk. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but uh, you guys can let me know kind of how to pronounce that in the comments. The X-10 labs were built under this very sea. The sea would contain Honkai spills and hide us from Shiksil forces. Time to go, Sile. This is the beach that Sile and Branya wanted to visit together. I've never seen these azure waters before. Are you alright, Sile? I'm alright. Let's go. All readings nominal. We're making smooth progress. X-10 labs under the sea of Okotsk. Our Honkai resistance is extremely high. Things are looking good. Subject can now use Honkai energy to manipulate matter at the atomic level. We can try injecting more Honkai energy right now. Perhaps we can achieve manipulation of matter at sub-atomic levels. Inject another 3 milliliters. I'm so hot. This hurts so much. I think my body's burning up. Something is flowing into me. It's turning me into something else. Branya. Oh, shit. Branya, it's me, Sile. I'm over here, Branya. Why are you ignoring me? Branya. Oh, she's getting in the box. Branya. Stop. You can't go any further, Sile. You lack the powers to control the thing inside this chest. You have yet to master the powers of your stigma. Alert, alert, alert. Honkai reaction spike detected. Subject is going critical. Sile. I didn't expect to meet you like this, my dear host. You, you're the voice that speaks to me inside of my head. They etched memories into this stigma eons ago and made me. I was transcribed to human genetic memory to help transfer our knowledge, powers, and eternal hatred of gods known as the Honkai. What? So she's... N she's not Honkai? This box contains technology, data, and powers far superior to anything from the current era. You are wholly unprepared for wielding these forces. If you open the chest now, the contents will only consume you. But Branya's inside the box. I must open it to save her. Save Branya. I just told you that you could die if you open the box, but stop being stupid. I need to keep you alive to exist. And you're just a crybaby. You are so useless and weak. Forget about the experiment. There's no way the test can succeed if you're the test subject. Seal's about to get pissed, all right? Grab, push. I'm not scared of you, Sin. This experiment might kill you, Sile. It's too dangerous. Matushka doesn't want to lose you. Just walk away. Matushka Kokolia. Sorry, Matushka. I've made up my mind. Good. You've grown up, Sile. Sile! Have no fear, Sile. I'll always be here with you. You don't have to do this. I'll always protect you, Sile. Stay. Don't leave me behind, Sile. This test will take you away from me. Damn. Oh, shit. It's too late. Branya, if I fail this test, they will make you take it as well. You'll always hold me like this when I hide myself in our toy box. And you make me feel safe when you tell me that it's alright, but I won't run away this time. I won't let my weakness hurt you, Branya. You're a good girl, Sile. I won't stop you anymore. Have it your way, my dear host. But I'm warning you, even I don't know what lies ahead of us, but I'll be with you no matter what happens. So this demon inside of her seems almost like it's her friend. We're bound together as stigma and host. You finally found it, Sile. Space-time distortion observed around the subject. Subject attempted to manipulate the testing sphere. The sphere emitted a blinding glow in response. The sphere then vanished into quantum space. The space-time distortion around the subject subsided. Subject Sile demonstrated matter manipulation capabilities for 0.8 seconds. We did it! Everyone's all happy. I did it! However, the control was only temporary. What? Oh, she's disappearing. 
What the hell just happened? Where did Sile go? Her body can't simply vanish like this. From the test readings, it seemed that the subject's physical integrity collapsed almost instantly. It may sound ludicrous, but we believe that she may have entered quantum state as well. I'm sorry, Sile, but it seems that your body isn't ready to receive the powers within the box. We'll be leaving this world very soon, Sile. You demand something from me? Alright, I guess I can help you see Branya one last time before we head off to the Sea of Quanta. One week ago, Branya in Sile's room. Go make thyself like a nymph of the sea. Oh, she's reading The Daughter of the Sea. Go make thyself like a nymph of the sea. Branya, what is a sea? Sile, are you saying that you've never been to any sea before? Yep, yeah, Branya, the orphanage is the only place I know since I was a little girl. Really? How should I describe the sea? Your eyes, Sile, they're just like the sea itself. Now look, summer is coming, Sile. Why don't we swoosh? Whoa, this is sick. Okay, wow. Go to the beach, and I'll show you what the sea is. Test subject Sile has reappeared outside the labs. Sile is moving at a high speed away from the Sea of Okotsk. Damn it, Sile. What are you trying to do? Are you controlled by the Honkai? Potential destination of her current trajectory is Kokolia Orphanage. Deploy the Titans. We must stop her. You'll love the sea once you see it, Sile. The sea is vast. It is the home of many types of life. The sea immerses you in its embrace of serenity, peace, and warmth. Oh, they're all shooting at her? Dang. The sea can also summon powerful tempests if her children are in danger. You are just like the sea, Sile. Ignore what Sin Idiotka said. Sile, you aren't a weakling or a crybaby. I know you're strong, Sile. Have faith in yourself. Don't get in my way. Swoosh. You're kind and gentle, Sile. You're just like the Azure Waters. Sile, where are you? Branya, I'm here. Can she see her? No, just a little bit more, please. I'm so close. Branya, it's me. Oh, and Branya turns around and then she disappears and just leaves the hairpiece. Just be yourself, Sile. Don't change for the sake of others. I feel strong as long as you're here with me. You give me hope and courage. All I ever wanted is to be with you, Sile. Target failed to gain entry into its intended destination of Kokolia Orphanage. Target did not materialize again. X10 experiment failures, 8. Damn. Thud. Matushka. Sile has gone missing, Matushka. Branya, good. I need to tell you about the X-10 test. Sile took it in your place. We tried breaching the subatomic barrier, and now she's gone. Her physical integrity collapsed. In an instant, we could not find her. We failed, Branya. No, Sile's still alive. I know she's alive. Even if Sile's alive, she would be in a quantum state. It is far beyond our reach. We must accept this. We won't see her ever again. If I take the test, I would be able to enter the quantum state and meet Sile again, right? Listen to me, Branya. Sile has higher Honkai resistance than you, but she still failed the test. I'm ending X-10. What about Sile? Are we just going to leave her alone in that place? Wow, actually, after reading this, this has so much more depth of her jumping into the Sea of Quanta. Like, Branya jumping down there is actually huge. X-10 is over, Branya. I refuse to lose any more children to this stupid pipe dream. Think, Branya, think. Why did Sile take the test? She did it for you. You'll definitely lose me if you don't let me take this test. Think and choose your next words very carefully, Matushka. Ooh, dang. Ooh, okay. Branya, yes or no, Matushka? Fine. X-10 Labs backup facility. Lowering subject into the testing tank. The girl's leg fracture is not fully healed. This girl right here almost looks like Sile. Her wound may be infected by Honkai if the test exceeds 310 seconds. Testing must be halted at that time or the infection may become permanent. Oh, they're going to pull her out right when she meets Sile or something. It might even kill her. Hear that, Branya? I'll end the test after five minutes. You must survive, Branya. Da, Matushka. Begin delivery of the Honkai solution. Blub, blub, blub. Initiate the X-10 test. Sile? Branya? I'm never going to lose you again, Sile. Why are you here, Branya? Did they make you take the test? You have to leave, Branya, or you'll disappear from that world as well. I don't care about the test or that world. You're the one who matters most to me, Sile. Honkai infection detected. The five-minute time limit has run out. The Honkai is spreading through her legs an additional infection site detected near her brain. What are you waiting for? Stop the test now! The infection is getting worse. We must do something to avert permanent brain damage. We failed to sever the neural link. The subject is fighting us. She refuses to let us stop the test. You planned this from the start, didn't you, Branya? You never intended to return to this world. I refuse to leave you here all alone, Sile. I've already made up my mind when I took this test. I won't let go of you this time. I'll always be with you, Sile. Nothing will keep us apart. Dang, this is gonna be why she hates Matushka. Oh, sh I've read in a book about a beautiful flower that grew in the furthest ends of the Far East, taking a thousand years to bloom and a thousand years to wilt. The flower was cursed. Never shall she see the leaf, her dearest sister. We'll be together for all eternity, Sile. But you can't stay here, Branya. You must return. If you stay here, you will disappear as well. 
No, I'm not leaving you again. I don't want to wake up again only to realize that you're gone. I don't want to experience that sense of fear and pain again. Push, calm down, Branya. I've been waiting alone in this world for what seemed like an eternity, but part of me knows that you'll find me again. If trouble finds me, if people try to hurt me, you're always there to save me, Branya. You're the bravest, most powerful person I've ever known in my life, Branya. You are my only source of hope, but now you're trying to give up and run away. That's not the Branya I know. I don't want to see you like this. Am I really running away? Sile was hoping that I could help her leave this place. You're right, Sile. Let's make a promise. Branya will look for a way to take you away from here. No matter how slim the chances might be, I will never, ever give up. I'll do whatever it takes, Sile, because we're best friends forever. And I know you can do it, Branya. I'll wait for you here for as long as it takes. I want a status update now. Test subjects' amygdala and emotive circuits have been severely damaged. Total cerebral trauma is 8% and rising. Gasp. I... The Branya can't feel sad anymore. It's time for you to leave this place, Branya. You have to go before it is too late. Before you go, Branya. I found this in a chest of this place. It has the power to rebuild. It will help you in the real world, Branya. Thou did smile, infused with a fortitude from heaven. When I have decked the sea with drops full salt, under burthen groaned which raised in me an undergoing stomach to bear up. Remember our promise, Branya. We'll reunite in the real world. Da. The Branya shall remember her promise with Sile. What the hell is that? Against what should ensue, approach my Ariel come. All hail, great master, grave sir, hail. The girl named Branya lost many things in the summer of 2013. X-10 test debriefing. Test subject managed to return from her quantum state with what appears to be a robotic symbiont of unknown model or make. We do not advise any attempt to separate these two entities. The Honkai infection rendered the subject incapable of using her legs. Locomotion is only possible with a pair of advanced prosthetics. Destruction of her limbic system has made her incapable of feeling higher order emotions. Nevertheless, we believe that test subject will remain a critical component to our future endeavors. But the girl named Sile is what she missed the most, and the pain of sorrow still ails her to this day. Branya and Kakolia made many attempts to recover Sile. None of them worked. They then set their eyes on another girl with a stigma of her own, May Raiden. Her stigma first unleashed its potential when she turned eight. Her father then sealed her powers. In February 2014, Kakolia triggered an artificial Honkai outbreak in Chiba Academy to reawaken May's dormant stigma. Branya was then deployed to subdue and recover May. But Kakolia didn't include a silver-haired girl in her schemes. Her name is Kiana Kozlana. And this Honkai outbreak bound the fates of these girls together. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and read the the Nagazora one. No next page. Dang, this was actually pretty good, guys. I mean, Second Eruption was really good, too, so I expected this to be really good. But this was dark. As as short as this was, this was really dark in some places. Always a lot of uh, emotion in Mahoyo's stories, though. So definitely glad to read this. And I can see why you guys wanted me to read this before going on to Chapter 11. Because it, it kind of gives you a whole new point of view on why Branya would be so willing to jump into the Sea of of quanta and you never know what you're going to find in there and really looking forward to it so i'm going to try to make this video as enjoyable as possible putting in some music and things like that i really hope you guys enjoyed the video today and i will see you in the next one